lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, my God. As I come into your presence and pass the gates of praise into your sanctuary. Till we stand and face to face I look upon your countenance And see the fullness of your grace I can only bow down And say You are awesome in this place Mighty God Stand and sing of Samuel, I'll decree. Land of work and joy in unity. Victors in the struggle for their rights. We war, freedom's fight. All one, strong and free, Africa is our motherland, fashioned with and blessed by God's good hand. Let us so her people join at one, brothers. Under the sun, oh, one, strong and free, one land and one nation is our pride. Dignity and peace needs a good sky, like a noble eagle, he needs fly. Sabia, praise you, thee, all who are strong and free. Praise be to God, praise be, praise be, bless our great nation. Sabia, Sabia, free men we stand. Under the flag of our land, Sambia, praise to thee, all who are strong and free.
Let's just bow our hearts in prayer. Father, we give you thanks tonight. Honor, praise, glory, and adoration. We thank you that you are the one that gives strength, wisdom, intellect to all men in the earth. And as we gather today, we want to thank you for the strength that you have imposed upon us to achieve many things that we could achieve here on earth. We thank you, Lord, for the main men that are here today whom we will celebrate of their greatest achievements and the studies they've engaged in throughout many things in the earth. We praise you and we honor you for this meeting today. We ask that everything that will be on course, it will be to honor and glory to your name. So bless all of us as we interact together in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the fifth graduation ceremony of uh, Preso University. Before I invite the chancellor to constitute the assembly, uh, I would like to recognize the presence of uh, the acting vice chancellor, uh, DMI St. Eugene, Dr. V.K. Arnold, the Acting Dean, School of Health Sciences, uh, Dr. Sodi Monsaka, uh, the Director, National Health Research Authority, Dr. Godfrey Biemba, and uh, I would also like to recognize the presence of uh, Dr. Edward Mbewe from uh, the Levi Mwanawasa Medical University. You are welcome. At this point, I would like to invite the Chancellor to come and constitute this assembly as the fifth uh, graduation ceremony of Preso University. In addition to constituting the assembly, the chancellor will also give his address to the assembly. I wish you a very good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to recognize all of you for this very special occasion. I will just simply say all protocols observed. Uh, it is my special privilege to welcome you to the fifth graduation ceremony of Creso University. Creso University, for those of you who may want to know, was conceived 22 years ago when God dropped a call into my heart to start a university. I was puzzled at the time, wholly unprepared for that task. But I told my Lord that I would follow his leadership and stand ready whenever the time for its birth would come. It was 12 years later when the birth of Chris University began and a year later when uh, we were able to register Chris University, that was 2010, with the then Ministry of Education. Since then, we have never looked back. It has been one of the greatest challenges on my, in my ministry of over 40 years to get this uh, university established and running. Without the grace of God and his guidance, this would have been impossible. God graciously helped us to find the required funds, often demanding great sacrifice. We are a private university. 
and we have not been able to get money from any sites uh, to get this started. But thank God he has helped us. For the last nine years since its establishment, Cresce University has grown into a reputable institution of learning. Despite great resistances here and there, we have forged ahead to make the institution what it is today. We have by no means reached our destiny as yet. Our vision for Cresce University is great, not because of us, but because of the one who has given us the call and the vision. And uh, sometimes I hesitate to talk about it, lest people might think I'm dreaming, but I'm not dreaming. This is real. You know, looking back for the last 10 years, uh, this is more than a dream come true. We thank God that our hard work together with this great team that we have has built this institution that we have established by faith. And uh, scripture says we are being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. So there are many more things to come that we do not yet see, but that we are sure in our hearts and that we hope for because of what God has given us in our hearts. Now this is the definition of faith. For those of us who are versed, well versed in scripture, this is Hebrews chapter 11 verse one, that we are being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see, it will come to pass. And so what we are seeing tonight has come to pass. It's uh, one lap in the race that has been completed once again. And kindly watch Christian universities in the years to come to see it expand to many different places establishing even a more excellent ex establishing even more excellent facilities of learning in different parts of the country and beyond we believe in the value of education with a special emphasis on application learning without applying what we are learning is quite useless but we also need the wisdom from above which is somehow woefully absent in our so-called modern world today. King Solomon wrote 3,000 years ago, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. So it costs you all you have, get understanding. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will give you a garland of, to grace your head and present you with a glorious crown. The accumulation of knowledge must go hand in hand with the demand to grow in wisdom. When we neglect the latter, we may just be educated noisemakers without any ability to change the world. Today I stand here excited as we are to graduate a good number of students tomorrow who have been learning in the, fa the, fast, the past few years at Creso University. Tonight, I'm honored that we can award deserving individuals who have proved their determination in gaining understanding through their studies. May all of you be endowed with the wisdom from above, apply the knowledge that you have gained in that wisdom. So it is now my privilege and my honor to call this uh, uh, very important gathering to be opened and by virtue of the authority invested in me as the chancellor of uh, Cresce University, I constitute this assembly as the fifth graduation ceremony of Cresce University. Have a good evening. Thank you, Chancellor. Uh, we now go to uh, the, prog the main program of the evening. And uh, I would like to invite Professor Sakamba to the podium, uh, the, 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 the director of the postgraduate uh, directorate.
evening. I am humbled to have you on this particular day, which is very important for all of us. This is the fifth graduation ceremony. In the first place, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our chancellor, acting dean, Dr. Musaka, Dr. Godfrey, Dr. Mbewe, and the man of God, Pastor Abraham. I wish to acknowledge you for this wonderful occasion that uh, you found yourself a variable in. This is a very important uh, occasion. I know our vice chancellor, I mean our chancellor, have said so many things already. They've given us at least a brief background. I want to say something before we confer professorships, PhDs to our colleagues. I just want to look at um, Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 10. You know, Crystal University is a Christian university, different from other universities, which are secular universities. Jesus gave us a parable. But this parable is actually in Mark chapter 4, verses 1. The sower of the seed. In economics, I would call this is a cost effectiveness analysis curve. Four quadrants. Jesus gave this background because of uh, the seed. The farmer scattered the seeds. Some fell along the path. What's the impact? That's quadrant one in economics. Some fell on rocks. That is quadrant two. Some seeds fell among the thorns. That is quadrant three. Some fell on good soil. That is quadrant four. But my point is how to analyze the impact of these things. So Jesus is an economist looking at the impact of the seed that falls along the path. If you read Mark chapter 4, verses 1, you are going to understand. But my concern is about the seed that fell on good soil. Because Jesus, the same Mark, he cast the fig tree that could not produce crops or fruits. Now, you need to understand what happens to the seed when it falls in the good soil. The skin of the seed dies partially. What does it mean? You feel pain before you germinate. Today we are witnessing your crops, your fruit, but you felt pain. Today is your day to celebrate. Don't lose focus. But remember that if you cannot produce crops, Jesus cursed the fig tree. The world will approach you if you don't continue researching. We have the challenge in Zambia, climate change. Where are the researchers? The world will approach you if you do not participate into research. Article review. Some of you, you are not authors. Today, you are authors. So, I am simply saying, Jesus is concerned about your crop. Jesus is concerned about your fruit. You are in this world to solve problems as PhD orders. And I have a very simple philosophy. 
Where there is crisis, there is no leadership. Where there is leadership, there is no crisis. Today we are witnessing our special moment. I know some of you don't love Jesus, but you need to appreciate that Jesus is an economist. Our friends that do economics, for example, health, economics, evaluation, they use cost effectiveness analysis scale to intervene in any crisis. They look at quadrant one, quadrant two. Why they want to look at something they want to apply. Is it costly effective? Is it more costly and more effective? For example, we're gonna have cholera now. Some models can be used. Is it vaccine cholera? Is it costly? The word is more costly. That's why Jesus died for us. So Jesus demonstrated what happens to us in our lives. It's up to you, my dear friend, if you continue participating in our research. I know, colleagues, you know what I'm talking about. If you can't publish, you are not a professor. If you can't publish, you are not a doctor. This world is going to approach you the same way Jesus cased the fig tree. Because Jesus looked at this fig tree without fruits. So we are demonstrating today because of your fruits. When we are thrown in the good soil, Creso is a good soil. Which our chancellor have talked about. Today is a very good moment. I thought I should say something about this so that we remember when we move from this house that we are researchers. If we can't bear fruits, the world will approach us. Whether I like it or not, they will check on you. You may not like my message, believe me. <laughs> they will approach you without the crops. Jesus will curse you for not bearing fruits. So continue bearing fruits. Continue publishing. I'm provoking you today. It's my day. And I'm telling you the truth. Continue researching. Continue writing books. Continue solving problems for our country. Thank you very much for this few words that I've said. I don't know if you could clap for me or not, but that's the truth. Yeah, I'll speed up. I know we, I don't want to spoil your appetite for our dinner. But we are researchers. This is a very important moment. We have very important people in this house. And that's why I have tried to remind each other. Check your food. Is it fatal? Thank you, uh, Professor Sakamba. Before you walk away, <laughs> you are still on the podium. Uh, at this uh, juncture, Professor Sakamba, uh, we would like to recognize uh, those that were, um, uh, those that were, as it were, appointed professors, uh, from associate professor to full professor and associate professor. So uh, at this uh, juncture, we want to recognize them and their achievement. And Professor Sakamba is going to read a brief citation for each one of them. And then we just congratulate them. Thank you. I come back again. It's about now the crops now. <laughs> the evidence. Yeah. Uh, we have various categories today. There are people who have shown crops and fruits who are privileged today to be recognized for full professorship award. I hear call upon Professor Christopher Simonga.
may stand there, my vice chancellor, please. Um, with all the respect and I'm humbled, I would like to call upon our chancellor uh, to come in front. Our chancellor to come in front. I would also like to call upon Yeah, now I would like to talk about the fruits. In accordance with the provisions of the Higher Education Act number 4 of 2013, the Senate forests enshrined at Christ University, we are pleased to award the full professorship in health sciences to Christopher Simonga. The, the recognition of this award is based on academic innovation achievement, number of research papers published, professional achievement, contribution to the development of health policies in Ministry of Health, and excellence contribution to the public service of this country. Let's clap for Professor. <laughs> Professor Simonga for the great achievement. You see, our Vice Chancellor adding value to our university. I move further again about crops. I'm still on Mark chapter 4, verse 1. <laughs> verse 10. You thought I was joking. This is about the fruits. <laughs> Professor Hector Chivola. Let's clap for Professor Chivola. Achievement in accordance with the provision of higher education, Act Number 4 of 2013, and the Senate Forest in Shrine at Crescent University, we are pleased to award the full professorship in psychology to Hector Chibola. Clap for him, please. <laughs> the recognition of this award is based on academic innovation achievement, number of research papers published, number of books published, professional achievement, and achievement excellence significantly in social sciences. Let's start for Professor Tim. <laughs> Furthermore, I call upon Associate Professor Victor Chalwe. <laughs> achievement, crops, fruits, in accordance with the provisions of the higher education Act number four of 2013 and the Senate Policy Enshrined at Crest University, we are pleased to award the Associate Professorship in Health Sciences to Victor Charwe. The recognition of this award is based on academic innovation achievement, number of research papers published, and professional achievement. Let's clap for him, please. Once again, we congratulate uh, Professor Simonga, Professor Chibola, and uh, Professor Chalwe. Let's give them a clap again. Uh, um, may I also invite them to join the Chancellor as, uh, as uh, Professor Sakamba presents the uh, PhD uh, candidates or graduates uh, to the Chancellor. Maybe you, you just move to the age, but not over the age. <laughs> uh, so uh, at, uh, wh what will happen now is Professor Sakamba will present the, the, the PhD graduates to the chancellor. And um, the, 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 the graduate will come and stand just in front there while Professor Sakamba reads out uh, something about your achievement. Okay, and then after that, uh, we will do the ceremonial um, parting of the shoulders with the mess, and then uh, uh, you, you just stand to one side until all the PhD graduates have been called out. The, uh, thereafter, the chancellor will confer you with the degree. 
Thank you. Okay, I'm back again for great achievement. And uh, the chance the registrar will be tossing on your shoulders. Please cover your head as you are coming in front. That's our tradition. And um, our chancellor will confer you and uh, will shake you for your great achievement after everything. I begin with your title today of changes. So don't think I'm calling about someone else. If you, I mention doctor, meaning you are the one, <laughs> you are no longer mister. <laughs> so don't start looking behind. <laughs> you are a doctor. <laughs> okay, I call upon Dr. Rafael Molambia. Let's clap for <laughs> Rafael Molambia. I'll try to be brief because of time. The topic he looked at is about the impact of ed teachers, readership styles on pupils' intellectual performance and emotional intelligence in Zambia. The supervisor was Professor Evaristo Sendruka. I move further. When I try to bite my tongue, just know that uh, this name is not Zambian. You know, there are certain letters not in our mouth. Uh, Dr. Tisha Sebi. I hope I pronounced it very well. Dr. Tisha Sebi, clap for her. She looked at the topic benchmarking quality products and services in distance education university in Botswana. Internal Supervisor Evaristo Sendruka. I move further and call upon Dr. Bise M. G. May you please come forth? May you clap for him, please? He looked at the topic lecturer motivation and career satisfaction in public and private universities in Botswana. Internal Supervisor. Evaristo Sendruka. I call upon Dr. Tisha Bise. May you clap for her, please? She looked at management of change in tertiary institutions through transformation readership. Internal Supervisor Evaristo Sendruka. I call upon Sonia Matthew looked at law throughput in university program, exploration of po possible causes and remedies in Botswana. Internal Supervisor Erivaristo Sindruka. I call upon Dr. Manish S. Looked at graduate, graduate employability has predictors of labor market outcomes. Supervisor, Internal Supervisor, Professor Evaristo Sindruka. I call upon Dr. Anthony Joseph. May you clap for him, please? He looked at workplace interaction in the university environment. Supervisor, Internal Supervisor, Professor Sindruka. I call upon, I think it meant here, first of all, I call upon those who are, are graduating in absentia. This is the category of uh, PhD students. However, under PhD, in absentia, David Jerusalem. He looked at analyzing education, 
governance of public health training institutions in Zambia. Supervisor, Professor Lodric Sakamba. Just clap for David Rusano, though he's graduating in absentia. I break a little bit and leave this room for my chancellor. By virtue of the authority invested in me as the chancellor of Cresso University, I confer on you individually and severally the Cresso University's doctorate of philosophy degree and all its rights and privileges. Come again. Thank you very much. Clap for them, please. This is now doctorate. Uh, I need to understand the difference between a PhD and just doctorate. PhD is three years in the soil. That's good soil I was talking about, <laughs> where you feel terrible pain but you have to germinate and become a crop. We are now looking at uh, people that graduated with doctorate. Dr. Morgan Boa. Clap for him, please. I don't know if we'll be calling him Dr. Leverand Mo Morgan Boa. He looked at this topic, examining the effectiveness of team ministry practices in various local churches in Zambia. Supervisor, Professor Lodric Sakamba, doctorate degree in ministries and leadership. That's the award. Let's clap for you. In absentia, I call upon Dr. Bagadis. Moranda, Gulaya, she looked at assessing the benefits of high city use in learning institutions in Botswana. She's just stuck on the way, but she'll be available tomorrow. Award doctorate degree in business administration, major in finance, supervised by Professor Lodric Sakamba. Let's clap for her, please. I move a bit. I leave room for the Chancellor. By virtue of the authority invested in me as the Chancellor of the Universe, Crest University, I confer unto you the Crest University's Doctor of, of Business Administration, de Administration degree and all its rights and privileges. Thank you very much. In conclusion, would like to recognize the award given to Dr. Kabombo Kashumba. Clap for him, please. Achievement in accordance with the provisions of higher education, Act Number no. 4 of 2013 and the Senate policy enshrined at Cresce University, we are pleased to award the PhD honorary in leadership and organization to, Ka, to Kabombo Kashumba. The recognition of this award is based on academic in, innovation achievement, professional achievement, contribution to the development of union agencies, and excellence and excellence contribution to the industry and public sector of this country. Let's clap for him, please. I move a bit again. By virtue of the authority invested in me as the Chancellor of Cresce University, I confer on you the honorary doctor, doctor of uh, philosophy degree of Cresce University with all its rights and privileges. This day is very unique. We have various awards. 
lastly, but not the least, we have uh, another candidate, Associate Professor Victor Chalwe. Clap for him, please. <laughs> Associate Professor Victor Chalwe in the house. He's already here. We are done with this one? Oh, uh, I'm enjoying this day. <laughs> so wonderful. I think I'm done. Uh, you know, fear, phobia, thinking that I've left someone. I'm seeing someone doing like this. Okay. I think I was supposed to be ticking, eh? Yeah. No, not really. You can see the hands behind there. You have a picture. Apology. Apology once more. I was too excited. I was not thinking. I thought I was very intelligent. <laughs> okay, we call upon Dr. Stephen Tishuka. Tishuka? Tishuko? <laughs> Stephen Tishuko? This is a Lamba name, it's very difficult to pronounce. Topic, the role of school readership in, re in learner performance in secondary schools, PhD in readership and organization, supervisor, Lewis Chirufia. I have to pick everyone. Yeah. I think I've picked most people. I've picked Mr. Chalwell. By virtue of the authority invested in me as the Chancellor of Cresce University, I confer on you the Chris University's Doctor of Philosophy degree and all its rights and privileges. We are coming to an end of our important occasion. Before we go, I call upon our registrar in front to give direction. Thank you very much. In every house, you need to have someone to acknowledge and to thank the occasion. I call upon Professor Hector Chibola to give us the vote of thanks. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to recognize the presence of uh, the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, and Chairman of Council, including the special invited guests, Dean School of Medicine, who was my supervisor, and Dr. Mbewe from Lebu uh, Mwanawasa Teaching Hospital, who too was my Supervisor, I have great privilege, at least Stephen Chishiko, uh, Roderick Sakamba, were my classmates initially at Crystal University doing a PhD. And you can imagine, as a startup student doing PhD, and today, five years down the road, almost nine years from the registration of Crystal University, I should come and give a vote of thanks. I'm humbly honored. Ladies and gentlemen, education is really glorious and gorgeous. And we envy those who have achieved it. But little do we realize that we can equally achieve it. Because 
in the greater wisdom of God, he said, although you are given different talents, it's up to you to realize your talent. If you sit back like those three guys, five, three, one, this guy always gives me less. You remain with less forever. And yet, God said, even the little that he has given you, use it fruitfully, productively, because he has already measured your level. So, we stand here as professors, as doctors. That does not make us any bigger human beings than those who have masters, who have bachelors, who have diplomas. Before the eyes of God, we are all human beings. Now, this fifth graduation ceremony to which we represent as a statum, because the bigger occasion is tomorrow for the others, gives greater hope for Crescent University because this goes to show that it is growing and glowing. Okay, I hope you get the difference. You grow, but you glow, give a bigger light. Okay, and this is the light which I think all of us need to be appreciating about the work and academic achievements of Crescent University through the products, like my comrade Sakamba said, what do you show? At least all of us as PhDs, as professors, we have shown something. Some of it, not necessarily with Crescent University, but built over a lifetime, ultimately giving glory to Crescent University. And as an individual, I appreciate, greatly appreciate Crescent University for what they've done for me. Being the first graduate PhD of Creso, now I should cherish myself as well, like <laughs> being the first full professor student of Creso University. So which means we can do it and we should continue doing it. And for some of you who are still doubting where to go, what to do, Creso University is the root. Creso University is the home, it's the citadel. Come, and you'll get what you need. Ultimately, all of us want to get something. If your husband is something, you feel you are also someone. <laughs> if it's the wife, similarly. But that's the beauty of education, isn't it? Who would want always to be crying and crying, groaning, and gnashing their teeth? We don't have that time. So those who are academically talented, Let's use our talent to teach others, to groom others, to facilitate the processes as are desired. You know, it, it's, it's nice, at least for me, like my supervisors are here and my classmates are here as well. But when you graduate, it doesn't matter. What matters is your determination, your desire to get what you, des you wanted to achieve academically in your life. Once that's done, then you feel a little contented. Perhaps I'll feel a little contented now because I'm full professor, but this is the credit for Crescent University, not ideally my own. So my word for you in this vote of thanks is that come to Crescent University to get what you deserve, what you want, what God has destined for you to achieve. It doesn't matter, age, oh yes, you didn't do it when you were younger. You can still do it, even when you're old. Some of us are very old. Uh, I have my daughters here who are graduates as well and whatever, but learning does not end. And Crystal University, being a Christian university, simply says, keep learning. Your footage will keep increasing for as long as God gives you the places as you search for them. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for sparing your time to come and attend this hilarious ceremony uh, to which I think you have borne witness to the achievements of those who desired to achieve. You can also do it. Cresso University is the way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Chivora. Um, at this point, this is just the beginning of the graduation. 
uh, it continues tomorrow with a bigger crowd and uh, you are all uh, invited to come and attend that uh, ceremony uh, as well. So, um, Uncle Rex, <laughs> I was his junior disciple many years ago. So when he sat there strumming his guitar, I wanted to join in. Uh, so we uh, call upon Uncle Rex and the band to give us some uh, uh, music. Now, this is what is going to happen. Uh, I, I know all of you, your appetites have been whetted because the food smells nice. So uh, Uncle Rex uh, perhaps will give us one song or so. And then I will invite the chancellor again to come and um, adjourn the assembly. We are not dissolving because it continues tomorrow. So to adjourn the assembly until tomorrow. Thereafter, we'll sing the national anthem. And then following that, we'll have dinner. And uh, Uncle Rex and his band can then show us what we can do, what he can do, and what they can do. And um, if you can dance with, your, uh, with food in your mouth, you are welcome to do so. Uncle Rex. Thank you so much. There will be more of this, but uh, 
and I think you will enjoy it better with food. Uh, so, uh, but uh, at this juncture, I would like to invite the chancellor once more to um, adjourn the assembly. Thereafter, we will stand for the national anthem, and then uh, Mrs. Nyoni will come and give a closing prayer. Well, uh, Crystal University may have started in 2010, but we have roots going far back. In fact, uh, like the registrar was uh, making a remark right now, at one time he was the choir master and he was the chief guitarist, uh, Uncle Rex. And of course, Uncle Rex became Uncle Rex in our home, <laughs> you know? <laughs> he was not an uncle when he first came, <laughs> but now he's Uncle Rex. So. Uh, this is, this is a great testimony. We have uh, so many people who are here uh, going back. Uh, in fact, uh, then Rex, you know, not Uncle Rex, by then, he's the one who called me at night and says, there's a coup, there's a coup in the country. Remember that? That was, uh, which, which, that was not the last coup, that was another coup. You know, that was 1996, when UNIP was still in government. You know, that was, was it, was it Captain Solo? No? Captain, Solo. Captain Solo. That's how Captain far. Oh, Mambo Luchembe, yeah? Mm. Yes, that's right. And then, of course, there's Biggie, who met uh, Uncle Rex, Uncle Rex, uh, one of the, one of the, 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 the young men who, who started the, the procession. Anyway, uh, this is a great day. I know some of you may just wonder, but we have, we have got roots which are deep. So, Professor Zakamba, you can keep on talking about fruit, you know? <laughs> there is fruit here, and we thank God for that. Well, today's beginning of our graduation ceremony, which we have just uh, been celebrating the achievements of uh, those uh, distinguished individuals who have been conferred professors, PhDs, uh, doctorates in business administration and leadership in ministry, uh, we have got great expectation as you go forward. Uh, education is a foundation on which we build upon, and we are so glad that we have had this great opportunity today. I now have the privilege to declare this fifth graduation of Crystal University adjourned until tomorrow when we are going to uh, reconvene our meeting with all our students. May the Lord bless you. Shall we stand up for the national anthem? Stand and sing, O oh Samuel. Proud and free, land of work and joy in unity. Victors in the struggle for their rights, we want freedom's fight. All oh, one strong and Africa is our own motherland Fashioned with them bliss by God's good hand Let us so her people join as one Brothers under the sun Oh, one, strong and free, one land and one nation is our pride. Dignity and peace need sun, yes, sky, like a noble eagle, he needs fly. 
Zambia, praise to thee, O oh, one strong and free, praise be to God, praise be, praise be, bless our great nation, Zambia, Zambia. Free men we stand under the flag of our land. Zambia, praise to thee, all oh, one strong and Ask Mrs. Nyoni to give the closing prayer as well as to bless our food. Shall we bow our heads and pray? Heavenly Father, we are grateful for what you have done in this place. We thank you for every achievement, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord, that you started with us. And even as we come to the end of this program, we are grateful that you are still with us. Father, even as we are about to partake of the food, may you bless it, sanctify it in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. As everyone says, Amen. amen. You may be seated. Um, can I just ask Mrs. Ngolube to uh, guide how we are going to devour this food? I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I don't know about you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure we are so hungry, and I think our enzymes are ready to digest the food. So we are starting. The, the soup is right at the back. So we start from there. We are asking the chancellor and the, all, all the people from table one, followed by table two, table three, and table four. So we start from the soup to the main dish and the dessert. Thank you. Uh, may you enjoy the food. All right, thank you. Uh, please feel free to interact, get to know each other. Uh, we have guests from uh, out, outside the country. Let's meet them. Let's, let's just get to know uh, each other and share and compare notes on various issues as we enjoy the food. And Uncle Rex and the band will entertain us. stand against the king no one can no one will who will stand against the king no one can no one will oh oh Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, oh, 
Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Who will stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who will stand against the King? No one can, no one will. Oh, oh, victory belongs to Jesus, victory belongs to Him. Oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. You will deliver your approach. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, victory belongs to 
what shall I render to you, Jehovah? For he has done so much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me.
from the University of Pretoria, South Africa, and Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership, Sub Miller, PLC University of Cambridge. He is a certified trainer under the John C. Maxwell Certification Program. He is also a certified coach under the Society for Organization Learning and Trainer of Trainers for the Institute of Directors, Zambia, and is also a fellow of the Institute. Ladies, please welcome Chibamba Kanyama. Prior to founding Bridges Limited, you, you, a consulting firm in 2017. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good afternoon. Did we enjoy our food? Did we eat our food? To tell you the truth, two issues. The first one, I never knew about coupes until Ju June, July this year. So I, I, I'm asking, you mean you have, have you, do you know about coupes? Oh, yeah, you don't know about coupes? I ask another person, yeah, I know coupes. So it looked like I'm the only Zambian who hasn't heard about coupes. I want to congratulate founder, CEO, chair. Go! Oh. 